Okay, we'll just stay from here. Okay. So congrats on season two. Thank you. So Logan, uh, like uh, Logan, your character Sam goes through so much this season. Um, you know the, the breakup, her father, and now the everything you just um, the AP building. What journey is your character Sam going to go through this season? Um, this season for Sam is a it's a heart journey. It's a human journey. Um, season one was her as an activist and her really trying to make her mark on campus. And season two, I think she's just faced with some unexpected things. Like life comes at her faster than she's ready for. And when that happens, it forces you to really look at your circumstances. It forces her to look at her identity, her whiteness, which she doesn't always acknowledge. Um, and how she exists in the world, which is really important for her to really assess, you know? My favorite thing about your character is that they're humanizing her this season, and they're really breaking down who she is and her family, too, her family life. Um, how important was it for you to have this kind of, like, humanization for your character? Because last season, they focused on like the, the just stay the core ready. of getting to know her but this season we really break down her character no, yeah, it's, it's the same. it was really important for me for them to do that because I, I'm guilty of looking at like Twitter feeds and stuff and comments and seeing what people think of the show because I'm curious I always like to know what an audience thinks and I found a lot of people um, not liking Sam and I'm not I'm okay with that sometimes when you don't like a character but sometimes I wondered if it was because she was too much of a persona and not enough of a, a person. And, and I wanted to give the audience an opportunity to see who she is um, outside of this activism and to try to see if I could get them to relate to her. I think if, it's, if there's someone you don't like, to try to relate to them is a really special moment to have that compassion. So it's a good test. We'll see. <laughs> well, what I love about your character, your portrayal of, of Sam, is that I know the first season it was getting to know her because the movie also portrayed Sam. But this season, we really get to see you flush out as the character. And we, you are Sam. And it's no longer like the, the, the idea of Sam. Yeah. And so how important was that to establish your role as Sam in your life? Um, in season two, I really let go of a lot of my inhibitions with that. Like I was concerned in season one that we were too much alike, and so I really fought it. And in season two, I just said, you know what, if we're similar, then so be it. And I'll, that'll just make her more authentic, and that's kind of what happened. And one more follow-up. The themes of the season is the sunken place. Um, there's so many black uh, oppression, uh, black uh, blackness, and just different things. What theme is m most meaningful for you, and what is Sam going to go through? Most meaningful? I think the sisterhood theme. The sisterhood is so prevalent in season two, and with the Me Too movement and um, the Women's March, I'm happy that uh, Dear White People is a part of that momentum. Um, and especially black sisterhood, um, sisterhood with young women who don't always agree. Um, I, I just was happy to be a part of that. I'm excited for people to see that. Thank you so much.